Hey guys, today's from the install bay. We're gonna talk about high pass filters, that HPF setting. So stay tuned. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna show you live what a high pass filter does to a speaker in real time. So that you can see the signal that's coming out of the amplifier. Uh, you can see the movement of the speaker with no filter and a filter. Let's get to the demo. So we have set up here is the Rockford Fosgate amp that we're going to be using for our demo. It has a front output that we're going to use. We have the frequency hertz that we're going to use for adjusting. We have the crossover, which it has LP, AP, and HP, which stands for low pass, all pass, and high pass. All pass just means no crossover. And then we have the gain. So we're gonna go ahead and select high pass. We also have the RTA set up so that you can see the sound. Uh, what you're gonna be looking for is, it's gonna be a thick bar going all the way across with a gradual slope right here. And as we turn up the crossover, the slope is going to move that way. We have a test speaker, which is a six by nine. And then we have our phone that we're gonna be using for a tone generator. So let's get going. We're gonna be playing pink noise from our phone. We're gonna start turning up the volume. In this case, we're gonna be using the gain as a volume knob. And then as we get it to good volume, we're gonna go ahead and start adjusting the crossover. So here we go. So as we started to turn the crossover up, you'll notice how the, the bump moved that way. And then the movement of the six by nine decreased. That's because we were limiting the frequencies that it could play. So that was a really good example of a crossover's ability to control the movement of the speaker by limiting its, the frequencies that are getting to it. This is crucial depending on what size speaker you have and what grade of speaker you have. So for example, this is a six and a half, and this is a six and a half. This six and a half has a much bigger magnet than this six and a half. It's also a lot taller than this six and a half. This six and a half has a higher power handling than this six and a half. This will also be able to play a lower crossover point than this six and a half. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hook up these two six and a halves and show you that. So for this test, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the amplifier up to 100 hertz for both speaker. And then we're gonna start turning up the volume knobs. We're gonna look at the performance of the speakers to see which one handles the situation better. So let's take a look at that. So we're gonna start with this speaker here, and then we're gonna to go to this speaker here. So let's keep going. So we can see from that test, just because you have two six and a halves doesn't mean that they can both be crossed over at the same frequency. Now in this case, we both had them crossed over at 100 hertz, and clearly speaker B was able to handle a lot more power than speaker A. Now if we adjust the crossover point on speaker A, we'll be able to get that same or close to that same amount of power into it as we were getting speaker B. So let's take a look at that. So we're going to leave speaker B set as normal, we're going to adjust speaker A. So as you can see from this demo, by adjusting the crossover point on speaker A, we were able to get it up to the same level as speaker B as far as power handling goes. So that shows you that setting the proper crossover for the type of speaker you're running 
you will get the better results out of the speaker as far as volume. Now sound quality, totally different issue. If you want the best sound quality and you're buying something like speaker A, you're not gonna get the volume output that speaker B will provide at that same level. So you would want to upgrade to the better speaker that can handle those lower crossover points. We hope this helped you explain a little bit easier on what the crossover is actually doing to the speaker, how to set it up for the type of speaker you have. Now we understand this is just a general, quick, hey, take a look at this. If you have any questions about what we just did, please feel free to ask below. Uh, we totally understand. Um, this is a hard topic to try to wrap your head around and try to explain in the video. Um, if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see us try to do, by all means, please tell us. We'd love to hear it. Okay, so that brings this one to an end. Yeah, so thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And as usual, we really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe. You guys have a great night, and we will see you later next time. Bye. Does that make sense? No? Okay. <laughs>